Do you want to tell a story or show your audience something visual? Let's pull on our creative director, Emery. Hey there, Emery. Let's add some visuals to our project. Let's start by adding an image. I'll click on Media in the toolbar. Here, you can add any images, videos, or icons from our stock footage library. If you have your own images or videos that you want to upload into Studio, then click on the Upload Media button. Select the five you want to upload, and it should appear in your project. Sometimes the best way to teach someone how to do something is to show them with a screen recording. To do this, click on the Record button on the toolbar above the canvas. This will open the Screen Recording menu, where you can choose to record a tab in your browser, a window, or your entire screen. When you see the red light over the recording video and hear your script, you can follow along to make sure that your screen matches the actions in your actor's voiceover. When you're finished, hit Stop Sharing, and your screen recording should appear on your canvas. You'll have the option to trim where your screen recording starts and stops by clicking on the yellow handles at the beginning and ends of your project. Once you're finished, hit Trim, and your screen recording is ready for your video. By default, your screen recording will play once, all the way through. You can also match your screen recording to the script by using Stretch and Loop or Cut in your Styling panel. If your screen recording is too short for your script, you can use Stretch to help match the playback of the screen recording to match the script. Or, if it's an action that needs to repeat, then you can use Loop or Cut to repeat an action in your screen recording. Our project is starting to really come together. Those visuals are eye-catching. I think we're ready to go into production.